Huh? Okay, so... <laughs> that is really good. Oh, I'm not denying that. I'm just saying, uh... There's so much potential he has. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. has yet to be tell. brought out yet. Yeah, exactly. It's a little too early. But otherwise, you know, we've seen good things from him so far. And honestly, uh, with a player like Solid Man, I'm sure he can make Cloud work uh, really well. Alright, so right now, basically, this matchup is going to just be Cloud trying to charge up Limit Break for the most part, because that means that super, excuse me, super early kills on Sheik, yeah. uh, as she's pretty light. Although, uh, right now we see Takahide going crazy. Yeah, just getting all these grabs. Yeah. Just really good change in general. That's that's basically just, you know, Sheik's thing. Yeah, that's the Sheik thing. Ooh, nice strain. Ooh, whiffing. Wow. Ooh. Force Smash uh, going right past Sheik, oddly enough. Ooh, wow. Ooh. Takahide jumping right into that charge forward smash. Um, not really sure what he was thinking there. Uh, because Cloud's forward smash is definitely his strongest one. Um, maybe he thought it was going to charge it. True. Maybe he thought it was already... Uh, or maybe he thought it was going to be shorter. Yeah, that's true. I always you know, think that with Cloud. Oh, wow. Charging forward smash. Interesting mix-up. Forward smash hitting really far away from uh, intended target. But hey, I mean, we take those, right? So, very true. Wow. If that nice was just tech. a little bit far off the ledge, uh, that would have been a spike. That would have been a spike. That would have been really bad. Yeah. Takahide struggling right now to kill Cloud, and uh, Takahide also in kill percentage from Cloud right now. Again, the limit break. Uh, you get finishing touch. I guess even a side B. Yeah, even a side B would kill. 85%. Solid mid also being really smart, trying to save his jumps. Unfortunately, had to use limit break to recover. And he got a really nice bouncing fish. Not actually taking the stock at 157. Wow. That's surprising. It's a really good DI. Unfortunately, that's just another a cloud thing too. Terrible recovery means that uh, Sheik should just be able to toss him off stage. Him a couple times with fair, and that would be it, regardless of how much percent he was at. So we'll see if we can get adaptation from both characters to. But Takahide not slowing down at all, just keeping the pressure up. True. Both of these players. Oh my Ooh. goodness, that up smash hitting at the very tip of that. Actually, I didn't expect that to kill. Uh, I didn't either. The sweet spot on it is really strange. While it has a giant hitbox, the sour spot just tends to not really do much. So, uh, wow. Cloud going for that, uh, good, I guess just a good option to the back air off stage just to get a little bit more damage there. Yeah, true. I don't think the limit break was gonna be able to do anything that spectacular that early. No. Double bouncing fish actually ended up hitting solid mid. He didn't expect a second hit. And oh. that'll be it, unfortunately, yeah, for Cloud. Not able to recover. No. Uh, one of the things, too, is that not many of our Flagstaff players in general, uh, regardless of who comes to these tournaments, are very familiar with the Cloud matchup just yet. We don't have a Cloud, like a dedicated Cloud main. Yeah, it's really strange. I played it with a Fox earlier, and it was really hard to do. Right. Again, Cloud's one of those characters that just, uh, he's got a lot of potential, and especially with, the, wow, that was airing a really great stream. all the way off, that might have been oh. an accidental down B, but I'm not positive, because it looks like he could have gotten back with the up B there, but I think it was an accident. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, limit break, I know the cancel is a bit slow, so yeah. I don't know if maybe he just recognized that he couldn't get back, so he just decided not to, but who knows. Uh, an unfortunate SD there from uh, Solid Mid. Sounds like we're going to town and city. Oh, FD. Oh, maybe he scratched uh, town and city. Who knows? Alright, so FD. Um, I think it's definitely going to be better for Sheik. Yes, definitely. That's the one thing. Uh, no platforms with Sheik is actually really nice. Well, I mean, it is Sheik, so honestly, yeah. there's, there's, no, there's no bad stage for him, particularly. I shouldn't say that, but. Anyway, we see Takahide getting some really nice strings. Ooh, I know they're just kind of feeling each other out uh, again with this match because I think the last one might have thrown Solid Mid off a little bit with that SD. Wow, using the upbeat, I didn't actually know that Limit Break made him fly that far. Yeah, he still got the punish though. I was sort of going to get True. it. So right now, Sheik definitely had an easy kill percent if he lands a forward smash. Yes, very uh, much so. No Limit Break means that, again, no kill options with side B or down B. That would be a very slow, 19 frames I believe, uh, when I looked it up last time, uh, if my memory serves me correct. Side B much quicker, but it does not kill. Uh, I actually didn't kill, I thought it would. Wow. 
up smash, also taking that stock there too. Uh, I think there was an accidental grenade as well. Uh, our player Takahide has a bit of an issue with that, which is unfortunate because he's such a strong player as well. Um, that, you know, slight input errors like that can really cost him a lot, especially in tournament matches like this one. Yeah, for sure. One thing I'm noticing is that a lot of people don't know that uh, the cloud down throw to limit break side B is almost always confirmed uh, at 0%, and no one seems to be doing that. And I'm not sure if maybe it's because they already know. Yeah, that is a way to rack up some really easy damage. Yeah, I think it does like 30-something percent off of yeah, that. Yeah, it's really so, strong. Yeah. Very good, yeah. Solid mid also earlier. Oh, there we go. So we'll see the stock taking at 176. Uh, Takahide, unfortunately, not able to close out any sooner. I know Cloud's heavy, or heavy-ish, so not particularly easy for her. Well, but she has all these early confirmed combos. So. True. You get easy racking damage, and you see again, forward air strings. That bouncing fish right there could have actually spelled out death for uh, solid mid with Cloud's bad recovery. One thing I noticed is uh, Solid Mid's opting to actually recover onto stage instead of going for the ledge, which is really weird against Sheik because Sheik's really fast. So I'm not entirely sure. Wow. Oh, that was a really solid combo. That was a Gahi day right there. Taking the stack out much earlier. I was trying solid to get the hard for the hard <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Oh, forward airs for days. Stop with the up air. That was up air. Apparently quick enough to actually uh, yeah, stop that string. Interesting to know. Takahide trying to play it really safe right now. He does have the lead. He does have rage, which is really good with Sheik because he can kill early with stuff like Bouncing Fish and Uppy. Uh, again, we see it right there. He's trying to go for it. Cloud, unfortunately, is stocked down. And any percent he gets right now is just not working out for him. Oh, that was such a good lead. Looked like a pivot grab there. Back air gonna take it at 152. That back air is very strong. It's, uh, it's not as strong as you think it would and then just comes out and kills you instantly. Yeah. Alright, so we see a charge limit break, and as long as Takahide doesn't make him blow it, this actually could be a really close match. Definitely, especially with the early kills with finishing touch and whatnot. Right. Oh, right, there so it goes. Unfortunately, yeah, having to use it. Not too bad. I know the uh, charge time is seven seconds. Uh, for full limit break, not including, you know, what you get from racking up damage or taking it. Yeah. So, honestly, ball still in the court. Fast. Another uh -oh. accidental side B from Takahi Day. Just lost a oh, jump. Unfortunate uh -oh. SD. And SD from each player uh, this game, I just think they're off today. Uh, quite unfortunate, really, because now it comes down to the wire with a 1-1 situation. Both, car uh, both players have to really put all of their strength and energy into uh, three stock matches this uh, this stream <laughs> yeah. this time so the three stocks kind of hard sometimes it can kinda... be it's just draining you know it's, yeah, for uh, sure. it requires a lot more months of focus over a longer span of time so it does allow for a bit more mistake and room for error but at the same time you know we're playing it right now uh, you know winter semis so all right, FD again. Going for the run back. Um, honestly, that last match wasn't really one-sided at all. So uh, no, it was really close until the end there. Yeah, I'm gonna say that uh, Cloud. Uh, oh, unfortunately, dropping shield there. Yeah, interesting. One thing most people don't know about the Cloud side B as well is that you can smash DI at, at higher percentages, not lower, unfortunately. Um, yeah. But it's not confirmed. Uh, it just the linking on it is a bit strange with how the hitboxes work. So perhaps we'll see a fix in the future so that it works a little bit better. But who knows? Multi hits in this game can be kind of funky. They really are sometimes. So uh, Cloud opting actually really smart to charge up Limit Breaker. Uh, still nice not trying. Yeah. Still again trying not to or trying to land on stage instead of on the. Um... It is really interesting against the Sheath. Yeah, I don't know. It might just be because he's trying to challenge stuff, and anytime that Sheik challenges and both of them get percent, that Sheik loses. All right. So solid mid, I think, just lost the mid break. I don't know if he tried to do it down. B? I actually didn't see that. It looked like he was shining before, but I can't. yeah, that was interesting. I don't know where it went at all. Down nice smash. shields. Yeah, down smash not hitting in the front. And of course, uh, alright, so, full limit break charge, oh, oh opting to just go it. for the, uh, yeah, the neutral B. Wow, down smash actually killing from midway in the screen. 
129 seems like pretty reasonable though for yeah. Cloud having almost 100 rage. And that's at that such point. a dangerous angle too. Right. So yeah, see right there that uh, the non-limit break version is not a true combo, no. but the limit break one I think comes out much faster. So means free damage early if you can pull off a grab to side B. Very true. Wow, Ooh, was that a fear reverse? Fear like reverse limit breaker. Takahide did with a bouncing fish right there, taking the stock out at 169. So both characters right now, two stocks, uh, neglig negligible percentages. Yeah, especially with Sheik. Right, Sheik definitely can rack up damage super quickly. Actually, solid admit, I don't know how much time he's been dedicating to Cloud, but it's actually, it looks like it's paying off really well. He's got the patience, yeah, he's really got good. really good spacing. Uh, he just knows what options to use already, which is impressive, other than the, uh, the unfortunate ST we saw early in the game. And uh, I think also a nice vanish coming out, though. Right. Solid admit also opting for the uh, Tomahawk earlier. Fully charged limit break. Wow. Down air. Oh, actually going to take that. The, uh, that was still... Strong hit, oddly enough. Cloud at 81% right now. This is going to be a really close game because Sheik right now is going to be having quite a bit of trouble it trying to close up the stock. Yeah, if you can get the stock down early, it'll be right back to square one. Right. Solid mid, holding on to that uh, limit break. Smart. Right now, honestly, he's at a percent where getting knocked off, he needs a breaker to get back, so that's actually smart that he's held onto it so far this this month. We'll see what he ends up doing with it shortly. Wow, landing the uh, forward air. Move is actually quite slow. Wow, oh, and another SD. Another SD for Wow. Uh, definitely not something we see that often in tournaments. Again, it's been a rough day for everyone here. The three stock change just might be affecting some people more than others. Uh, as, as slight of a change as it is, honestly, it does require a lot more mental focus and patience. It's just a lot longer run that you have to go through. Exactly. So, that's, uh, that's that. Solid mid takes the set 2-1 over to Kahide. Oh, wait. Am I stupid? Is this over? <laughs> Is it 1-1? One, one, right? Hey, what's is it 1-1 one, one, or is it over? 1-2. Oh, it's when it's finals. Are the best of fives? Is it really? Hold on one it's second. Gentlemen. Oh, snap, it is semifinals. Okay, see? Oh, wow. All right, so. So it's best of five. Best of five. I'm stupid. So Takahide is still with the chance to bring this back. Yes. All right, so another FD match. Interesting. That's the third FD pick in a row. Oh wow, that was such a good chain. Yeah, like an easy zero to thirty-four percent, which. Uh, hmm. We'll see how this how this works out. Well, it's looking good for Sheik right now. Yes. And in one hit. <laughs> and in one hit, it's back to. Back to pretty much neutral. He's got the limit break now. Maybe looking for those early kills. Yeah. We haven't seen him use limit break yet. I think it might be because Sheik is really fast, honestly. Uh, yeah, Sheik is hard to hit with some of those um, slow moves. moves. Yeah, he's going to have to get a, either a really hard read or again wait for something like side B, which is much quicker. Uh, just kills a little bit later. So right now, basically even percentages, 87 to 91 or 4 at this point. It's really not that much of a difference with Sheik, though. No, no, no. That's very even. Cloud now has Rage, and that's very scary. Oh, definitely. One good forward and down smash, and that's it. Takaide really, uh, you know, trying to bait those air dodges and get like that forward air to close out the stock. Unfortunately, missing it off stage there. Very good patience there. Yes, definitely. All right. Unfortunately, uh, right there we see Takaide. Unable to actually recover any quicker. Wow, nice really good 50 50, yeah. Another well, unfortunate side B. Um, landing more percentage on a sheep. See how much extra credit he can get. Yeah. 
he's all he can get right now. And honestly, this is a pretty wow. damn good string. It's a juggling yeah, it's cloud all the way across the stage. Not once, but twice. Uh, with forward airs and a good side tilt or two. Actually, landing forward smash, I almost never see. Yeah, that's uh, a really interesting option. Many Sheiks use it. Uh, decent for the damage rack up, but honestly, uh, otherwise, that's about it. Surprised that up smash even got close to hitting. Of course, you see that gun nice in the sour spot. Fish to cover his, uh, cover his options on covering the stage. Yeah. Cloud's struggling right now. Sheik at 139%. Basically, Sheik with Rage is a very scary beast. That is very true. Fishing for the forward smash. Actually, that last hit almost looked like it like it could have closed up the stock right there. Ooh, and down tilt. Yeah, 159 before that hit. Very interesting. And that's why I think PPC is not that good. So hard. I read the roll there into Nair. That was good. Takai Day really good at uh, a lot of his aerials now. I think that's the uh, strongest suit that he's got going on for him is that he's got really quick instant airs and really fast forward airs. So. Yeah, and Sheik's air aerials are so good. Yeah. He just knows how to play the character. Forward oh. Smash not taking it. So I'm unfortunately having to use uh, with a break. Interesting option with the up B. Trying to take that stock there. Not a bad one per se. It's a pretty safe option, but otherwise, uh, we almost never see that come out. A lot of spot dodges coming out. No one wants to get grabbed with yeah. this percent. That's true. Cloud holding out of that 147%. Anything from where he has right limit. Now. Yeah, definitely, again, once again, a scary situation from. Ooh, forward air almost connecting, but fading back just enough. There we go, that's side B catching 134. Got the zoom in too. Anime style, let's go. <laughs> that's Cloud's whole deal, anime style. Yeah. Alright, so Takahide, one solid down B or up B away from killing Cloud. Uh, Cloud with limit break already right now. And um, 170. Yeah. Ooh! Unfortunately, that will smash whiffing just by a little bit. We win some really good damage just from that neutral B. Yeah. It's a scary move, too. Cross slash, or not cross slash, it's uh. What is that move called? I'm actually not sure. I don't remember the name of it. Oh well. I'm a bad commentator. Rip. That's the beast. Wow, there we go. Ooh, very nice. taking it. Alright, so she 56%. Again, definitely doable. Uh. She just needs to get some sort of good combos going off here. Classic forward air to uh, down B. Or forward throw to down B. So we'll make closing this. Trying to do it, definitely. Widening the gap really quickly. This is match point right now for solid mid, so Takahi Day, if he wants to bring it back, he's really got to give it his all right now. Using another exit. Maybe not. But it hit. It, it did work. Again, it maybe not have been the, uh, the option he was looking for, but hey, any, any damage helps at this point. She unfortunately doesn't have those crazy off-the-top kill moves like someone like ZSS does. No. Getting the side, side B, we'll unfortunately. Alright, so set ended up being 3 1. So, uh, great sets. Unfortunately, we saw a lot of SDs from uh, both of them, actually. So, very unfortunate. But, yeah. Good play to both of them. Definitely so.